Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Paradise Killer, which has maybe the most aggressive user interface of any game I've ever played. Alright, so, uh, we have a lot of exploring, just a lot of general exploring to do. There, there are missions for us to work on, there are leads, I guess, is a better way to, uh, to word that. To follow up on, but for the moment I might just wander. Like, there's a lot of island yet to see. Find a winning ring pull. Oh yes, we we know all about this scam. Boy, this seems dangerous. You would think, given the amount of like obvious magic and craftsmanship around here, they would be able to just not have problems like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should be. You know what? Let's. You know what? Let's do. Let's work on something that's kind of minor, just to give us give us a little bit of direction. I want to work on behalf of that uh, that poor searching ghost. They think it's in a park near the apartments. Do I have a good enough map? Like, does my map have? Okay, you are in. You are at the citizen apartments. So let's see. That's citizen housing. That's Dunchi. Used to be aspirational apartment blocks. The bubble burst when citizens realize they are a cradle for unhappiness. How is there a real estate bubble? Okay, whatever. So here's the syndicate apartments. Here's the citizen apartments. He said there'd be like a park between those, right? And that's where we should look for his lost ring. So... I mean, it's not going to be too hard to find, right? Because every interactable item in the game has these huge blocks around it. A glistening stone. A small but bright stone. Looking at it makes the world around you fade away. And you can hear distant memories imprinted on the stone by the wearer. This one is full of happiness. Oh, that's right. It was the stone that fell out of his ring. Okay, so... I mean, this is it, right? So we can just go back to him? I mean, I guess we ought to look around and make sure we're looting everything here first. What is this? It's traditional to donate and let blood in prayer at a temple. Is this a temple? Is that what we're looking at here? I cannot spend any blood crystals on this. But I assume it's a good idea to do so. Okay, so we're just stealing <laughs> we're just stealing money from this fountain. I guess can a fountain own money? Citizens sometimes throw coins into fountains for luck. Luck doesn't exist. I get uh, okay, well I mean I think that whether or not that's right depends a lot on how you define that word. Also, a fascinating grasshopper. It is pretty it's pretty cool, grasshopper relative. Some people get very obsessive about grasshoppers. That's probably true. Alright, so it looks like there's maybe a blood crystal up there. I'm going to grab that, and then we're going to give it to that temple. Or we're going to get distracted by seeing other things, like an aromatic mushroom. Prized for their variety of flavors, and they just kind of grow all over, huh? This is pretty wicked. Okay, how do we get to that bloodstone? There we go. Oh, nope. Okay. I got too much damn momentum. Let's try that again, but this time without the clumsiness. And then, obviously, we're going to need to find more bloodstones pretty quick, or else we're not going to be able to uh, activate any of the uh, fast travel points. But so far, we've not, re not really been having a problem. And there's still big portions of the island we've not been to. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see what happens. May the silent goat walk with me. Okay, well that kind of just sprayed blood all over me, so that's great. Also, we got a silent goat carving. A carving about the first god, Silent Goat. Was the first god, evolved, uh, was the first god that evolved man had contact with, as I assume how that's supposed to be read. Sometimes known as the first for this reason. Captured outside the city of Mahoda Ending in India. Tortured in the Crystal Caves. Became aware of the Syndicate and gifted them his power, killing himself. I'm assuming that we're not going to get, like, a full backstory. Because, like, that would take a long time, right? I don't, I don't think the game is long enough to give us a full recounting of, like, all of this god stuff and human history. Syndicate history. I don't, I don't know what the word human even means, really, in this context. So this is going to lead us up into the Syndicate apartment block, I assume? 
Alright, let's talk to Shinji first, and then we'll... I feel like I could talk to you all day, love dies. Yeah, I guess you're probably going to. <laughs> What's on your mind? Everything. Nothing. You know how it is. I'm feeling quite relaxed. Well, you're the only one on this island that is. That's why you're in this situation. That's why you're in this situation. It's probably more of a... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> too many people that take things too seriously. They don't think about others, just their own advancement. That isn't how a perfect society runs. Do you come from a perfect society? <laughs> okay, I'll just let, let the sound play for that one. Uh, you don't get this attitude and charming personality unless you come from a place where everyone in the government is looking to scapegoat you for their own cruelty and fuck-ups. Mm. You, personally. Well, of course not me personally. The, you know, the lower classes. Ah, uh, no time to chat. Things to do. That's weird. You know, for a person who has no time to chat, he certainly does appear absolutely everywhere wanting to chat with me. Well, I mean, we should probably find the dude again, the, the wandering ghost, before I get too lost. Too drawn into other things. So let's grab this, and then where exactly are we relative to our ghost? Uh, is that... That's him, right? I have, in fact. Really? Can I see? Oh, yes. That's it. I can't describe how this makes me feel. It's like... Like we're together again. Please, you keep it. I can feel myself fading out of this world, and I can't take the stone with me. When you hold it, I hope you can find the happiness that it gave me. Yo, couldn't help spying on you. What do you want? You like that stone the spirit gave you? I, uh, um, I guess. It has a wonderful depth to it. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be a no. Why? Why do you want to sell it? What, what do you even want it for? Gems that are tied to the suffering of others are one of my collections. <laughs> I hate Shinji so much. That's weird. One of? Oh yeah, I also collect antiques from a planet populated by slug scholars. Also, got a cabinet of calcified entrails. Uh, cal calcified entrails prayer wreaths. That's a compound, that's a hell of a compound down there. Uh, from the mad monks in the Venus labyrinths. So, wanna sell? Two blood crystals, one time offer. I, I mean... This thing probably doesn't have any value to me. But I'm not going to sell it mostly because I don't want Shinji to have it, because I think his I think what he's doing is gross. His collection is gross, and I will have no part of it. I think I'll hang on to it. Ah, shame. I suppose I'm going to die with this island soon, so no biggie. And don't stress it, love dies. I just wanted a little bit of happiness before the harrowing embrace of oblivion. Well, frankly, I mean, I'm okay with not giving that to him. Shinji, <laughs> Shinji's a creepy little dude. Is this the end of the Syndicate? Uh, thinking out loud, Love Dies? How the hell should I know? They're your people. Now piss off and investigate. Okay, why? Well, why was he even sitting there waiting for me to talk to him? If, uh, whatever. Alright, let's go, let's go use that elevator. I'm curious what it will be like up in the Syndicate apartments. So, what's this nightmare computer for? Uh, I would need the Cosmos... Oh, right! We totally have that, but I did not install it yet. Let's do that thing. I'm assuming the elevator won't work if we don't unlock the, the nightmare computer. I guess let's try it. No, it totally does. Then, huh. I don't know what that computer's for. I guess we'll get it on the way out. Okay, so it just took us up here onto the balcony. Polite luxury chocolates, not like those rude chocolates that most people are into. The standard gift given to the host when syndicate members visit each other. Okay, you're a lot. I'll be right back. Let's just hold on a second. Everybody here is so much. Well-loved secateurs. 
A craftsperson's tools are a thing of beauty. The grip has been worn into the perfect fit for the user's hands over years of use. Are these... I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to tab out and look up that word. Are these just hedge trimmers? Is that is that a word I don't know for hedge trimmers? Boy, I wasn't expecting that to totally kill the sound. You know, a lot of games, they just, they just run in the background and everything's fine. Okay, secateurs. Yes, pruning clippers for use of one hand. Got it. Okay, uh, I'm a little surprised there wasn't anything in the corner over there. That's interesting. And that sort of looks like a cooling tower there. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry, I don't. Now I have to fix something on the other monitor. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good and we're back. So these statues are interesting. Gold teeth in an onyx skull? I want one of these masks. The witness to the end. Hey dude, what's your whole thing? Witness to the end. The overseer of the end of the islands. Okay, he's got kind of a robot voice. Under the gaze of the gods, the so-called investigation freak returns to the island sequences. I'm not going to try to do a robot voice. Overseer of each dying paradise. Born in the Chaos Palace in northern Iran in 8981, under the sign of the dis under the sign of destroyed Eden. As a child, Witness was enslaved under the banner of Crying Grudge and put to work building the perpetually growing Chaos Palace in North Persia. During the Great Betrayal, Witness refused to budge in his devotion, fleeing to hide within the impossible labyrinth of the Chaos Palace. Ezekiel found Witness and urged him to follow him. They became close. Witness was still a young man, and Ezekiel older and wiser. Witness looked up to him as a father figure after being taken from his own father at a young age. Witness holds a great deal of responsibility, overseeing the end of an island. He ensures every failure is perfect. He collects and breeds rare plants in his penthouse. That's, I guess, that's a disconnected detail, just something that is also true. <laughs> Uh, good to see you again, Witness. Apologies for Starlight. I do remember you. <laughs> of course. How could I forget? How long has it been? It's, it's less it's less robotic than I thought. It's just muffled by the mask. How long has it been since you last did work for our holy masters? Time moves so strangely here. We are grains of sand that drift in the astral wake of the heavenly titans. The gods are Especially after last night. The island is ready to end. The time flow is broken. The gods are displeased. Surely this is a joke. It's okay. He's very emotional. We are supposed to be their loyal servants. Our only purpose to resurrect them. Now we squabble and scheme. Our holy work brought to a screeching halt by murder. The end times are long. So many have strayed from the path. This must be a sign from the gods. I really need to get a better handle on what they mean when they say gods here, because they're talking about things that can be captured and tortured and killed. So, it's not even—it doesn't even really seem like a Greek sense of the word god. I don't know. I, I hopefully we'll get more filled in over time. Um, I feel pretty heretical after they put me in prison for three million days. I started feeling a little heretical. Sure. Ah, uh, the gods are capricious idiots. Another Another sinner fallen from the light and into heresy, just like the rest of this island. Got it. Well, we're devoted to them, but don't think they're righteous. Is this a fact? I'm here to weave some truths, not do their work. You have forgotten our holy purpose as well. Too many have. That's strange. So, what's with all the holy proclamations? This isn't your usual style. Far too much has happened in your absence. Truths have become more mutable. Our masters are not being served. The syndicate has lost its way. I have not strayed from the path. Too many of us have forgotten what it means to serve our masters. I fear last night was one of our punishments. Or maybe it was a divine reminder. Our gods work in esoteric ways, I hear. Are you here to punish the wicked monster that committed this atrocity? He seems to have way more voice li like. Not a larger number of voice lines, but his voice lines play way more frequently than uh, than everybody else's. Also, 
I don't know if the tattoos are supposed to be like meaningful. That's cuneiform, right? I don't I don't have any idea what any of this might portend. I am still in the, glory of the, gods. the sinner that allowed demons onto the island, will he burn in the fire of justice? Um maybe. I think he's gonna be mad at me if I don't affirm, but also I don't want to set up a false exp expectation here. How are you feeling about losing your jurisdiction? Let's just change the subject. Judge has no right. It just proves how far this island has fallen. A holy man should be allowed to do his holy work. Now, how can I assist you with your holy work? Yeah, that's an excellent question, my dude. Let's just chill for a second, shall we? Want to chat with witness? Er, sorry, want to chat? Witness? Should be a comma, that would have helped. I must warn you, I am not one for long conversations. The gods are us. Do you think they are happy with what they see? Uh, no, probably not. This island is full of they are the calm eye of the storm, and we have fallen away from them, swept away in a monsoon of sin. Please, tell me you also devote yourselves to the Holy Masters. Uh, I mean, I'm real busy, is the thing. Look, I am a servant of the jobs, or the gods, but I have a job to do. This island is full of Everything is secondary to our holy work. I don't like this. The recent bloodbath says otherwise. The gods are us. Please, join me in a prayer. The gods I don't... Are he journeyed across the stars. He came to us and gifted so much. He was the first, the holy catalyst. Man's dark age was scorched by the fire of devotion. In the face of sin and heresy I sing for Silent Goat. He heard us in the crystal caves. He will hear us again. The first, the holy catalyst, Silent Goat. May we always walk with you. This is a long prayer. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm pretty pro-Silent Goat at the moment. He journeyed across the stars, he came to us, and said, you know, the whole, on that whole thing I just said. Okay, cool. We're blessed. He feels. Uh, let's ask him about some stuff. I should probably have pursued the case file with, um, with our, our old friend whose name I've already forgotten and I feel bad about it. Uh... I didn't want to ruin the vibe we had going. With this guy, I have very, very poor vibes to start with. Where? So where were you last night? I spent the night here, in my apartment. Yeah, can anyone corroborate that? Sure. Or am I taking your word for what? it? You don't need to take that tone with me, investigator. Architect Carmelina was here as well. We left when we were summoned to the crisis meeting. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's pry. <laughs> Some romance at the end of an island? island that period of our lives is long gone, investigator. Why? So were you two doing a bit of conspiring then? This is a joke. Don't insult me, investigator. I need to investigate this. And you two were in each other's company all evening. I stepped out onto my balcony to take a phone call from Grand Marshal Akiko. It was fleeting. No more than five minutes. What time? Yeah, that's actually really interesting. What time was the call? Shortly before death visited the island. Akiko was reporting the escape of Henry. Okay, that's... So, the phone call lasted about five minutes. Yeah, that's interesting, because we already have a lot of questions about Akiko's evening. I'll follow up with the Grand Marshal. Not long after, marshals were stationed outside the elevator to my apartment. Do you have any proof that you were both in the apartment? The nightmare computer at the entrance logs everyone that enters and exits this apartment. You can pull the records from that and check yourself. Okay, I will. I will do that. So why is yours the only apartment with a logging system? Well, you can't be too careful. I take my privacy seriously. Paranoia, got it. Thank you. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, that's useful information. Uh, all obtained evidence is stored in Starlight. Case files are opened automatically as you find evidence. Starlight will link each piece of evidence to the relevant suspect in each case file. 
Starlight will also update evidence as new facts are discovered. Starlight is limiting to, limited to tracking and categorization. The investigator must use their intu intuition and reasoning to define the truths. Since this is the first piece of evidence you've acquired, Starlight will now display how evidence is categorized. This is the only time this flow will be displayed. If you wish to see this flow every time, please enable the evidence flow in the options menu. Okay. So it just means it won't it won't show us this uh, animation every time, right? So we have an alibi for the witness here, and possibly also for Carmelina. Although obviously we do need to talk to her about this. And we know that he took a call from the Grand Marshal. That was listed in the Grand Marshal's alibi section, but that's not actually an alibi for her, right? Because it was after the escape. I guess it means that she didn't... At least immediately after the escape, she didn't run over and murder the Syndicate right at that moment. Okay, so... How do I forget a name like Crimson Acid? I mean, we all know the actual answer to that is, my brain is bad. <laughs> I got one of them bad brains. Okay, so there's still, yeah, there's still a hell of a lot to, um, to investigate about everything. And we have lots of other questions to ask. Uh, how about Henry's escape? What do you know about Henry's escape? I'm particularly interested in if uh, Grand Marshal Akiko gave him any details. Only what the Grand Marshal told us. Have you spoken with her? Okay. Well, he just, <laughs> just straight told me to fuck off. Alright, what about this? What do you know about KHX's disappearance? Nothing. He often went for periods of isolation. Sorry I can't help more, Lady Love dies. He doesn't sound sorry, but you know, that's a choice I'm making, so I guess I, so I sort of can't blame him for that. Crime cannot hide. Do you believe Henry is responsible? All I can do is trust in the gods and have faith that what happened was part of their divine will. Don't test me. Okay, but do you believe Henry did it, though? The gods are watching us. It is not for me to question the gods. That's extremely not an answer to my question. The truth remains obscured. Do you think anyone has a motive for killing the council? This island is full of Our holy mission has been left unattended for too long. Any number of the sinners here could have done it. Perhaps it was an act of the gods. Heavenly anger leads to heavenly smiting. Okay, well, I suppose maybe the gods could have killed the entire syndicate inside a locked room. That's a possibility. Uh... Heavenly Anger. Is that what happened last night? Oh, sorry, that's my... That's my Steam message. Don't... Uh, I'll deal with that in a second. The gods are an idiot. Our holy mission, mission is to exalt and resurrect our astral masters. This has been forgotten. Too time. much focus has been put on the island sequences. What good are the islands if we are not raising our gods from slumber? The gods, are the gods seethe with anger. I can feel it. The signs are all around us. Demons, murder, sin. The gods always punish those that sin. Those are the rules. The syndicate sins by not giving everything to our lords. Perhaps this was an act of punishment by the gods. Yes, you've suggested that many times already. Um... He really does repeat himself, like, a lot, huh? Are the islands supposed to be raising gods from slumber? I guess I don't really... We know about this, this island sequence thing that's happening, but I guess I don't really know why we keep doing that. I sort of drew from the intro that we were just trying to, trying to make the perfect island. But yeah, there's got to be some greater goal, right? Uh, it does seem to me that perhaps not so much with the smiting on account of a knife was used. Do gods often use knives? I am still in the glory gods use Lord. instruments to carry out their will. Okay. Um, so anyway. Is Henry their instrument? The investigation freak. That's for you to find out. Judge would not have called the investigation freak out of exile if we had that answer. So anyone, including the Pantheon of Astral Deities, could be responsible for the council murder. Righteous work is never easy work. Again, extremely not an answer to the thing I asked you. 
I'm starting to think that we are never going to get any value out of talking to this guy. Okay, what about you? Do you have a motive? Do you have motive for killing the council? I am a humble servant, striving to live on the righteous path. Murdering the council is not on that path. And I'm just taking your word for that? What reason would I have to kill the council? How does that benefit our holy mission? Who determines the path? The gods, of course. And did the gods want you to kill the council? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, there was no information in that at all. He is very hard to talk to. May you fly with destroyed evil. And may you reach the moon. Right, right. Yeah, uh, that was that was almost valueless. Here's the thing. For a person who is called the investigation freak, like a person for whom this is like the whole deal, she's not very good at getting people to answer questions. Alright, apparently we're... Oh. We've in initialized the vision engine. Uh, let's have a look at his apartment. Here we have a crying grudge, a statue of the prophet crying grudge. The god endlessly weeps at the visions of the future he cannot unsee. Huh. Witness collects and breeds rare plants. Sometimes he gives them his gifts and then hounds you to take proper care of the most fragile plants on the planet. I love it when somebody gives me a responsibility as a gift. Here we have a statue of the Holy Ghost, uh, the uh, the Holy Catalyst, Silent Goat, of course. Here's his phone. I can take this to a comms tower and verify its location. We have relics from Persia from before the Great Betrayal. These are early depictions of gods and demons. I do think it's super weird that um, alongside everything that's happening here and the demons and the whatnot, we also just have the names of real places on Earth used all the time. Alright, I guess that's everything there is to investigate in his apartment. And I found Witness's phone in his apartment, and I'm just... I'm just gonna steal it. I have no concerns about this, this is perfectly reasonable. Witness told me he'd received a phone call from Akiko. I can check his story out if I plug this into a comms tower. Well, then we will do so. So is that just... yeah, it's just jamming information into the case file? Okay. Let's go check out the Nightmare computer at the base of the elevator first. And then we'll we'll worry about a comms tower afterward. Nightmare computer. These Nightmare computers can log activity in an area. They're normally set up to see who has passed through a door or accessed the system. Ooh. The investigator is here. If I can use Starlight to help me gain access, then I might be able to get some evidence. Alright, Starlight, let's get to work. Okay, so... It told me I would need the Cosmos language. Yeah, okay, so... One symbol at a time, right? Obviously, we need this, and then we need a horn. And then the other horn and the other half of the head. Uh, and... The snouty parts. This is a weird password system. I mean, I guess it's not passwords, right? Not exactly. Nope, oh, those are the wrong. How do I undo? These are these are the wrong sides of moon. Size of moon. How do I take back? I, I guess I just unclick them, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then this one's pretty straightforward. And here, it looks like the right half here is the same size as the right half there, so it'll be those same symbols. And this... Mm -hmm. sure. That's a weird way of doing that thing. These are logs of who entered and exited the building last night. Let's see. Alright, 1734, Witness enters. 2058, Carmelina arrives and Witness buzzes her in. 2358, the God Justice Marshals arrive and secure the building. Witness and Carmelina exit 20 minutes later. Well, that definitely seems to support his story. 
The logs are sealed by the Nightmare Computer. They can't have been tampered with. Witness and Carmelina have alibis. Alright, well, I mean... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't immediately catch someone in an, in an important lie, but I'm not surprised. So, uh, what do we want to do now? Who do we want to talk to next? I suppose we could try to get into the crime scene. We should probably try to access the crime scene and see what all these uh, all these fancy, fancy holy sigils are about, right? Uh, I mean, we shouldn't just walk past somebody, though. Yuri Knight, secretary to the architect. You're the famous investigation freak? This is somebody who doesn't know me already. Sure. I don't believe we've ever met before. Uh, secretary to the architect and the fairy woman's handler. Born in the marble chambers on island sequence 15 under the sign of Dire Rose. Okay, so he was born after I went into exile, right? Yuri is new to the syndicate and has quickly risen through the ranks. I can't believe in our darkest hour the judge called on you. Okay, guy. You're a charmer. Don't make me laugh. I'm not here to make friends, freak. Evidently. Is it of yours? I don't like sarcasm, freak. Well, that wasn't that wasn't sarcasm. I was agreeing with you. Is here. I understand your secretary to architect Carmelina and Lydia's handler during her fairy woman duties. What business is it of yours? Oh, did you manage to deduce that? <sighs> I think I'm making a few other deductions about you, as it happens. What? And what might those be? I was raised better than that. Freak. Don't put too much faith in how you were raised, freak. It can hold you back. This isn't even really a conversation. We're not... We're kind of not even sniping at each other along the same line. We're like... We're insulting past each other. The investigator is here. So you broke free, did you? Worthless. My parents were cowards. I'm not. It's not a big mystery to solve. What do you want, freak? Let's get to business. What do you want, freak? Crime cannot hide. No mention of grieving for our loss? Don't be snide with me. Grieving is a weak is a sign of weakness. Insufferable. I said, let's get to business. Stop dragging this out. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we are gonna hang out. My feeling is that, uh... <laughs> My feeling is that we would not get along in any long-term sense. But we should ask about his alibi. Where? Where were you last night? Huh. I was directing the fairy woman all night. Okay, I mean, that doesn't necessarily answer my question, right? From where? Here in the celebratory gardens. Uh. You often work in the gardens? Oui. My work last night didn't require a desk, and the gardens are beautiful when an island is ending. Do you have any proof? Freak. No, freak. The gardens aren't covered by logs, unlike the HQ. Well, isn't that convenient? Crime cannot hide. Give me your phone, Yuri. What? Got it. I need to verify your location last night. You would have been making calls with it if you were directing Lydia. No. I'm under no obligation to give you my phone. I have important work to do with it. Really, at this point, at like post post the whole deal, uh, I have a bad feeling about you know, this. Not until I've finished my important work, you don't. The investigator is here. I have jurisdiction here. I'm the investigator judge called on. You are obliged to assist my investigation, or I will haul you in front of judge for obstruction. If you don't give me your phone, I'll also assume that you have something to hide. Worthless. Fine, whatever. Okay, so now we can verify his location. I still gotta find a comms tower, though. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just do what you need to do and bring it back. Alright, I just need to use the comms tower to verify the location of any calls made from this phone. Then you can have it back after the trial. Alright, I do feel like he deserved a little bit of strong arming there. Uh, I mean, we may as well ask him everything, right? As unpleasant as I find it to talk to him. Do you believe Henry did this? Insufferable. What an insufferable question. Yes. Of course he did it. The Grand Marshal has him in custody. So, no suspicions of anyone else. So pathetic. The islands are full of schemers, you know that. <laughs> you wanna drop anyone into Erie? Dish the dirt on someone? What? Who? 
Now who's got a motive to kill the council? Insufferable. The killer is in a cell waiting to be executed. Don't test me. But let's say he isn't the killer. He is. I'm glad to be back. Uh, it's a thought experiment, Yuri. Just play along, would you? If Henry didn't kill the council, who else has motive? Fine, I'll play along. You should investigate Crimson. What the hell? Well, you gave that name up pretty easily. You've got nothing on me. I've had my suspicions for a while. Why? Pathetic. Something sits wrong with her. Why did she get blessed? What would stop her wanting more power now that she's blessed? She's too smug. That's strange. That seems tenuous. The investigation freak. You're the investigation freak. Investigate. I would maybe use a word that is even weaker than tenuous. That's basically just Yuri's jealous of her. Or envious more. Alright, uh, what? Uh, let's talk about Crimson a little bit more. So tell me about Crimson. The traitorous what idol. The hell? Traitorous? How dare you? She peddles her secrets and destabilizes the syndicate. Sure. People shouldn't have so many secrets then. Uh, don't excuse her just because she's your friend. Don't look surprised. I've done my research. I know you and her go way back. The drinking gang. Bunch of drunks and freaks. Well, has she got a motive for killing the council, though? <laughs> she has her own secrets. I'm sure she isn't happy about people knowing. Insufferable. She wants to play soldiers again. She won't accept her new role and wants to run around with a sword and gun fighting demons. If the next island is perfect, there won't be any more demonic invasions. I think she's trying to destabilize the island so she can have another go at playing soldier. Okay, that's at least an actual answer to my question. <laughs> and you're sure this isn't just about her blessing? Huh? What about it? it? You're jealous, clearly. Business is it of yours? Oh, your deductive skills have let you down, freak. Sure. I don't think they have. <laughs> okay, and then <laughs> no more on that line, I guess. And what do you know about the escape last night? Don't be snide with me. What would I know? Okay, I mean, that's fair. Did you see Witness to the End last night? I am aware the architect planned to visit him last night. You can check with her. Okay, well, we already were going to. How do you know that? I'm the architect's assistant. I arrange her appointments and make sure that she can carry out her work without being obstructed by anyone else on this island. And what do you know about KHX's disappearance? He hasn't been seen for a few days. Probably sleeping off a hangover. He was one of your old drinking crew, wasn't he? I have a bad feeling about this. Isn't a missing syndicate member something of a concern for one of the people responsible for getting the syndicate off the island? No. I can only work with what I have. If he doesn't want to be picked up by the fairy woman, I can't help it. He's his own man. That's strange. So, no concern or empathy. Don't be snide with me. What do you want from me? I can't care about everybody. It's exhausting. Okay, uh, you know, honestly, I get it. Maybe we should just hang out. Maybe I should push my reputation with him. There might be stuff that, you know, managing reputations might be important. Because there might be stuff that people know that they're not willing to divulge until they warm up to us a little bit. So as unpleasant as this is going to be... Got time to chat, Yuri? What do you want, Fleet? Uh, you weren't part of the Syndicate before I was exiled. What? Is that a statement or a question? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be polite. We're trying to improve our relationship. A question. Then phrase it like a question. What the hell? You're serious. Is that, is that a statement or a question? Okay, that's, you know... What's your history with the Syndicate? What? I was born to low-ranking Syndicate members, barely footnotes in our history. They say children naturally rebel against their parents. I am evidence of that. They were content to wallow in obscurity, and now I am secretary to the architect. And how did... No, thank you. That's weird. Sorry? 
I'm not interested in talking with you about myself anymore. Goodbye, freak. This has been delightful. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was increased. It was already approximately as low as it could have been, so... Listen, he'll, he'll come around. Everybody always comes around. Uh, so... We were... We were headed to the crime scene. So, like, does somebody make these statues? Or are they a natural... Wow. These are cool. I wonder if they're just, like, a natural result of the island forming process? Or... We don't really know what any of this means yet. Hold on. Is this the wrong direction? No, the crime scene's just up in this building. Well, how do we do that? How do we get up there? Okay, I don't think... I, I was kind of thinking that this pillar was an elevator. Now I am not so much thinking that. Uh, I guess we just gotta get up. We gotta get up there. I'm having a really hard time navigating these rocks. Alright, well I guess this whole... This was a whole dead end over here. So I wonder, I wonder what a comms tower actually looks like. That's the prison. It doesn't mean this, right? Oh, I wonder if there's a starlight skin for each different uh, fast travel point. I'm going to save my bloodstones for right now, but that, that might be another good reason to open them all up. Fantastic crystallized tear necklace. Rare and highly prized. Sometimes people inflict misery on others in an attempt to pan for them. Oh, do you like make others cry and then, huh. Well, that's real creepy. Citizen services. It is not open. Well, I think this is... Yeah, this is definitely taking us in the right direction. First island sequence, our blessed island plan was formed. Ezekiel forms the council to lead us into new island sequences. And, I mean, yeah, it seems like we're going to get a thing for each of these that we open, so... I'm a big fan of that silent goat. A carving about the god Damned Harmony. Escaped to the cosmos as his mountain fortress was besieged in Bosnia. The alabaster citadel was demolished around him as he finished the ritual to escape. He drifted for millennia before latching onto a comet at the outer reaches of our solar system. He drifted again, missing the formation of the Syndicate until the comet drifted closer to Earth. He learned of the Syndicate and deceived Lady Love Dies. Yeah, the, the time scale of this whole thing uh, is still a little bit of a mystery to me. So this has got to be a comms tower, right? Oh no, this is just a broadcast tower, right? We've seen one of these before. <laughs> Want to know the secret to power? Drink a beer on a hot afternoon. You become invincible. This game has a lot of, um, like, poetic use of language, and then also a lot of truly insane things that are just literally the case, and it's hard to know which is which. Is it the case here that you become literally invincible if you drink a beer on a hot afternoon? Who's to say that it's not, right? Alright, this is, yeah, this is totally where we're going. And of course, I'm going to get distracted by everything I see that we can pick up. The third island sequence memento. A time for sorrow. Ezekiel devolves into mad paranoia, fearing for our future and the demons. He murders so many of us. The noble Montserrat steps forward to end his madness and lead us to light. 
Okay, so Montserrat was the boss for a long time then. For the vast majority of the island sequences. Nauseating offering gems. Gems that are offered to the gods via ingestion. Ugh. Wow, that's really something. That's the, that's the first thing with a skull on it here that I've not liked looking at. Alright, we could wander off up in that direction, but I'm going to try to stay the course. This is the murder weapon Henry was found with. Looks like a combat knife. Clean blade, but covered in blood. Then in what sense is it clean? Okay. Alright, well, it is important to have this. Starlight can run the blood. Got it. All the blood on here is from council members. There are two other blood samples on the ground, presumably from the dead marshals up ahead. This is where Henry was found after he escaped. If I find where he started from, I can compare the timeline to the distance. Alright. Yeah, wow. The first holy seal protecting the council building is a pair of two high-ranking martial guards. They were killed last night by whoever breached the council building. Time to find some evidence. I mean, this is this is evidence. It sure looks like we have already found some evidence. There are ragged gashes across the throats of each soldier. The cuts were done with a blade, but not a perfect one. Nicks or damage on the blade probably caused the messy cuts. So, wait, when I said it was a clean blade but covered with blood, did I mean that it was an undamaged blade that was covered with blood? There are symbols drawn in the blood. These are demonic glyphs from a cosmic language I don't recognize. So these are the Marshal Guards that form the first of the Holy Seals. High-ranking marshals that were supposed to shield the Council from attack. The investigator is here. They were in someone's way. Okay, let's what run the blood. The hell? Is this right? These aren't marshals. The and the truth are not the same. I don't know who they are, but this blood doesn't match the ones on record for the marshals assigned to guard duty. What the hell? What the hell is going on? That is very interesting. Have they been body swapped? Is Starlight wrong? This blood matches the blood on the knife, so either this knife was used or it's been set up to look like it was. I don't like this. And they have both had their throats cut. That definitely did happen. The lacerations are ragged. To investigate this. this is probably done with a damaged blade. Ooh, the investigator is here. And there are marks drawn in the blood. Got it. The blood does match the blood of the dead bodies. So it looks like they've been daubed with a finger. Sure. Maybe some kind of ritualistic marking. Is this a fact or a truth? Henry has demonic symbols burned into his skin as a result of his possession. This could indicate he was here. We definitely need to at least look at the symbols on him to see if they look like this. Huh. So... The game raised the idea that Starlight might just be wrong, that these are in fact marshals. I guess we could check in with Akiko and maybe try to resolve that. But like, I wonder if the real marshals had been replaced by imposters as part of some other plot, and the person who showed up here and killed these people was in fact just disrupting that plot, and it's like weird bad luck that also the, also the syndicate thing happened on the same day? Also, where the hell are all those birds? Oh, right there. Huh. Okay, let's, um... Let's push in a little bit further here. A gr grotesque pyramid charms. Three holy pyramid charms. The god, the syndicate, the citizens. And I don't really understand what about that is grotesque. But we'll just trust the item name. You know what? I am going to unlock this for fast travel. This seems like a place that it would be nice to get, be able to get back to without having to walk. Fast travel unlocked. 
Blazing Sunset, star, uh, Starlight Skin Obtained. This is not as cool as the one we got last time. When the sunset occurs, some people Im immolate themselves, believing that the sun is a god that may eventually disappear. But, th but they're wrong, she will never disappear. That is a strong reaction to a sunset. We don't actually have any idea how long the islands remain, right? Like how long an island sequence is. Oh, good. Right, you just you stay right there, Shinji. We'll be back presently. Can I close this? Okay, just making sure there was nothing behind it. Also, locking Shinji out. You know that has value. Boy, where does this even go? So we're up here on the roof. It's not even really a very nice view. It's very, um, very simple. I guess that blood crystal was... Sure. Huh, this is a maintenance hatch for the council building. That's weird. Looks like it has been opened. Well, that's, I mean, that's true, it is open. The anti-tamper seals are cut and the grate has been pried open. You'd need a thin tool to open this. There are scrape marks going to the access hole. Okay, that's interesting. I'm glad I came up here. Was something manhandled through here? Hold on. So that's use ladder. Okay, all, all of the other interaction symbols here are just about using the ladder. So... Let me just make sure that I understand how this information is being collected. So that'll be... And probably that'll be related to... This? Okay, this is suspects. How do I... Like, where would it have placed that information that I just found? So when we look at the case files this way, all it shows us is suspects. Okay, it's just here under unknown. We don't have anybody to link this to yet. This opening would get someone in behind the Holy Seal Marshal Guards. A good way to do a surprise attack. There are scrape marks here as well. Looks like something was dragged through the access hole. That's definitely very curious. Oh, okay. It is always hold backwards to go down, even if you are looking down. Which is a little counterintuitive. Alright, Shinji, what do you want? You ever been to space, Love Dies? Uh, I always wanted to. I hear the moon's nice and quiet. Well, strap in. Beyond that door is space. Uh. Is that is that a metaphor or something? Again, I really need people to clarify whether they're being poetic or literal here. Nah, just hardcore space. This is the second Holy Seal. It's a rock floating through space. You know, the cosmos. That's strange. The second Holy Seal is behind that door. Are you even listening? Yeah, one of the safeguards that the killer got through. You gotta find a solution to the puzzle on the plateau to get to the rest of the building. Wow. Then how do you know about the second seal? Space has a stench. It's full of cosmic horror and existential nightmares. I can smell it. And the puzzle. I came to this island through a psychic corridor in space. I got a feel for these things. <gasps> you could just solve the puzzle without any hints? I'm sure, why not? Imagine you put a rock in an empty drink can. You can turn the can and feel the rock move. You can shake it and feel it. You learn how the rock moves, and without seeing it, you can work out how to get it out of the opening, right? It's like that, but the rock is a dumb puzzle designed by someone who thinks they're more clever than they are, and the can is space. So I could just feel my way through it. <laughs> no, you aren't attuned. You're not from space. You can't feel the rock. Or, or the can. Speaking of cans, wow. how am I supposed to get through the puzzle, then? Are you kidding me? You're an investigation freak, aren't you? That's what everyone says, right? <laughs> Investigate! Uh, do you think there's anyone else on the island that knows about this seal? Someone that knows about space? The prime suspect is that Henry guy, right? If he got through here, it might be because of the demon inside of him feeding its way through. Wow. And how likely is that? Hell, I don't know. How likely is anything? 
If you're asking me to place a bet on it, I'd say good odds a demon that came here on a psychic pathway could find their way through. The investigator is like you. Yeah, like me. But, and this is key, it'd need to be one that has the strength. I'm too weak. Henry's demon is, uh, Henry's demon has got a host, though. How? And how could Henry survive on a rock in space? <laughs> With great difficulty, I'd say. The demon inside him probably kept his body together. Stopped his organs being sucked out his ears. This is a lot of guesswork on Shinji's part. We shouldn't necessarily put a lot of stock in this. Is there anything you demons can't do? Uh, a demon's a ball of the angriest psychic energy I've ever seen. You get someone angry enough, they could do anything. Including keeping someone alive in space. Yeah, why not? Stop being sarcastic. The hell you know about demons? Uh... You know, I ran the Paradise Psycho Unit. And where's that now? Sorry. That's what I thought. By the way, I got a present for you. You're gonna need some help if you're going to space. Uh, a space helmet? Figured you'd want to breathe and keep your insides in your body. Where? And where did you get this? I was poking around around here this morning. It was behind one of those planters. Looks like someone dumped it. Sure. Meaning someone had used it to go through the seal. Why are you asking me? Get your investigation freak on. I added some heart stickers to it. Makes it yours, don't you think? <sighs> Which planter did you find it behind? <laughs> uh, the one with the statue. I mean, never mind that. Focus on the big picture. You're about to go to space! I mean, maybe I am. Have you been in there? Are you listening? My body's too frail. I'm too weak to leave the island. Got it. So, aren't you worried about what happens when this island ends, then? How I'll blink out of existence? If I spent all my time worrying about trivial shit like that, I'd have no time to think about us. Uh, us? Yeah, you know, maybe after you save this dump, you and I can take a long walk on the beach before... I don't like this. Let's, let's talk about this another time, Shinji. And by another time, I mean never. Not in this lifetime. Not ever. <laughs> ah, whatever. Okay, he did, in fact, put heart stickers on it. He's seen better days and is an old model, but allows the wearer to traverse space. So, like, you know, you have to cover more than just your head, though. You know what? I am very curious to open this, but I'm also a little bit out of time for today, so I think we're just going to hop down here to the phone and uh, and call it for right now. Wait a second. Huh. I thought I saw an interaction thing out of the, out of the corner of my eye. Alright. I think that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. We have a lot of information today, and I don't really even know how to make sense of all of it. When you come back next time, tomorrow, uh, I guess we're going to space. So everybody bring your helmets. And we'll see you then.